Thank you so much. Thank you. Your Excellency, President Salpakir Mayardit, President of the Republic of South Sudan, Vice President Taban Dengai, Vice President Rebecca Nyandeng, all the national ministers, and especially my good friends, the Minister of Road and Bridges. Thank you so much. And all the national MPs from Jonglei who have come to be with here us today. Thank you so much for being here. And also Madam Gita, who is the head of the UN, who has been working with us side by side. Uh, we thank you so much. Thanks for being here. And all the members of the armed forces who are here today, all the Jungle State Legislative Assembly who are here, all the Jungle State Ministers, and all of you, our citizens, thank you so much for being here. Today we gather here, we gather here for the third time to welcome our President. That really itself deserves a big round of applause to our president. Thank you. My fellow citizens, let me be honest with you and let me tell you what I've heard. I heard so many times people will say, you know, you are too young, but I tell them, I'm not too young to see that some something is happening in this country. When the president launched the road construction, there's so many credit that said it will not happen. All of you have heard that. In your village, in your home, people call you, they say, this will never happen. When Juba Bo Road will happen, will launch, they say that it will never reach Bo. Now the road is still in Bo. They also say that Juba Barbizan Road will never go. Juba Ye Road will never go. Juba Kapoeda to read all of this road will never happen. They all say that. But what happened now? Now we are launching and celebrating the road that have reached the capital city of Yongle State. Now we can tell the credits that they were wrong. And now they shift their blame. They're not talking about road anymore. You know what they're talking about? They're talking about the progress of the peace agreement, the unity, the cooperation. They're not talking about the road anymore. But yet we are sitting side. We're not telling them that you were wrong yesterday. We cannot believe you today. This is what happens when the president keeps his promise. When he promised that road had to be built, now we have roads. Now he promised that this road will all go all the way to Malakata. So that we are all connected as one people in this country. This is what is happening. What else can we ask for? Having a president that keeps his partners. That's the only thing a president can do to his citizen. And this is what we are witnessing here today. But yet we are we're not hearing more appreciation. We're hearing more of criticism. Of things that doesn't really matter. But I want to tell you today in front of our presidents, my citizens, the time for divisive is over. The time for noise is over. The time for unity and purpose and development in South Sudan is now. And this is the time that we are in right now. For those who are working so hard to divide us, we don't need you. For those who are working in jungle, we are working so hard in the government of South Sudan to see that the people of South Sudan live side by side in peace just like any country in the world. We need your cooperation so much more than before. This country has suffered so long. And I believe in deep down in my heart that the best day of South Sudan are still up ahead. The sun is still shining in South Sudan. And that this soil, that look like us, this soil, the problem of South Sudan will always be solved in this soil, in this land. They will never be solved in the capital city of a foreign country. They always will be solved here. And to those who doubt the result of South Sudan, they can see what is happening now. This is not a donation of some other countries. This is the blood and the bones of South Sudanese who have died in this land. And because of those who have gone before us, all of those who have died before all of us, this is why President Sanford 
fulfilling that promise, fulfilling the manifesto of why we struggle against cartoon. This is the reason why. For those of you who don't look for your eye and hear for your ear, this is South Sudan. This is a source of land that you will leave on for your children and your great-great-children. It will not end with you. This country will do so much for all of you. It will do so much for so many that are coming up ahead. This country is too big for all of us. But I want to tell you one thing. As a country, we are part of a global coalition. Just like any other nation, we are proud of ourselves. We are proud of being South Sudanese. And I always want to encourage you that what divides us is bitterness. Our unity, that's what we will see in days ahead. So Mr. President, thank you so much for keeping your promise. We thank you from the bottom of our heart. And Jonglei will do it is very best. Any problem that used to happen in Jonglei, this time we said it will not happen here. We will champion our unity and we will minimize our divisive. And I want to tell you, all of you, the citizens of Yongle and the government of Yongle sticks, those who are working on dividing us, like I said earlier, we don't need you. So many of you always say that, why is the government so harsh to some people? Some people. Dividing people does not have it grown in all our political parties and in our countries, not now. And so if somebody is engaged in doing that, that person will always see the result of our unity. So Mr. President, thank you so much for being in Jonglei. All the Vice Presidents, the Government of South Sudan, let's keep moving forward. South Sudan will never go back, I believe. South Sudan will move forward. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, South Sudan. South Sudan will win. Yarovsky Mayadi will win. Thank you, Governor, uh, for a uh, nice.